David Shaw here with another off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., come visit my site, offtherecordtours.com. Let's go. Washington, D.C. is at the confluence of power, money, and politics. So it's a natural setting for some great movies. Now, lots of movies take place in Washington, but not all of those are actually filmed here. Shouldn't we go this way? Sorry, ma'am. There's a tour going through here. Brooklyn, Baltimore, and Richmond often stand in for the district since getting permission to film here has become increasingly difficult. So, on today's knee surgery recovery episode, I want to share with you what I think are some of the best movies shot here on location in the district. First, it's Advise and Consent. It's a great Cold War drama from 1962 based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Alan Drury. It's unique among DC movies that it's actually filmed on the Capitol grounds, in the Senate hearing room, and in the Senate chamber, something that would never happen today. And I love this scene. You see the old streetcar that used to ply the city's streets coming up from Union Station. Many of the buildings in the background you see are no longer there. And a senator, played by Charles Lawton, actually riding public transportation. This was Lawton's last movie before his death, and he delivers a great performance. Had your fire and brimstone this morning, Chief? Yes, sir, Miss Majority Leader. Laced with hot bourbon and branch oil. I expect you can see the flames coming out of my ears. Can we have a little talk? I also like this scene where Henry Fonda explains how in Washington, lying is actually telling the truth. I mean, why do you want me to lie? If you're in, you're in. If you're out, you're out. Son, this is a Washington, D.C. kind of lie. That's when the other person knows you're lying and also knows you know he knows. Follow? Nope. Senator Munson will understand. Okay, if you say so. Next is All the President's Men from 1976. The true thriller about how two Washington Post reporters broke the Watergate story. Even though we all know how the story ends, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. The danger feels palpable as Woodward and Bernstein sink deeper and deeper into Nixon's crimes. And again, what helps make this story so compelling is shooting much of it in the city. My favorite scene is this one, shot in the main reading room of the Library of Congress. It shows the David and Goliath nature of this story as these two young reporters, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford, go up against the huge bureaucracy and secrecy of the presidency. No Way Out is a 1987 thriller with a shocking twist. If you see this movie, make sure you watch the first and last five minutes. It's key to understanding everything. This is the film that launched Kevin Costner as a major star. It's shot all over town. Here's a scene outside the Hay Adams Hotel. And another done over at the Omni Shoreham. The Department of Interior stands in for the Pentagon. You can see its distinctive black and white tiled floor in this scene. And here's an actor playing a politician who will later be a politician. The actor is Fred Thompson. He would later become a senator from the state of Tennessee. The one mistake No Way Out makes is in this scene, where Kevin Costner says he's going to go to the Georgetown Metro Station. As every district resident knows, there is no metro stop in Georgetown. This scene was actually filmed in what was the old post office pavilion that has since been turned into a hotel by a failed real estate developer. I have one more favorite DC movie, but it's rather devilish, and I'm going to save it for our Halloween episode. Let me know what your favorite DC movie is, or if you have any questions or comments. 
and don't forget to subscribe. Well, I hope you enjoyed that off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., things seen and unseen, arrange your tour of your nation's capital at offtherecordtours.com. Until then, I'm David Shaw. Just.